All right, ignore the Katy Perry in the background. That's just what I like to listen to when I'm uh, doing work. But I just wanted to go into this. I'm going to give you all the reports that I have that I download from SEMrush. But I kind of wanted to explain at least what this kind of means and what I think you should do. So just briefly, I can already tell because you told me before that you're, you guys were working on backlinks and that kind of stuff for your website. And I want to show you that this guy's organic traffic, uh, Fisher Roof, one of the competitions you told me about, um, this guy. Um, he has double your traffic, and I'll show you yours in a second. And he only has 596 backlinks. And I'll explain what this all means. Now we're going to go to yours. Wonderful website, by the way. Your, your, your site's way better than his, I think, at least visually. But your backlinks are 27.8 thousand, which is like bazillions more than his but your traffic is a little less than half. So why I wanna explain that is because there's gonna be a lot of SEOs that will tell you backlinks or what's gonna get you rankings. And that is a, a factor. One thing is quality backlinks is really, really important to Google. But actually what's more important since their last core algorithm update is content. And what I mean by content is the actual user. They are putting more emphasis on the user and who gets them to engage with the pages more. So what the actual user's doing because Google kind of knows people were trying to game the system and put just backlinks to get their rankings higher when in reality it wasn't a better site. So Google is putting a lot more ranking power in behaviors, user behaviors on your actual site. So that comes down to you being an authority in that. So Google will scroll your pages and figure out is this an authority based off of the content that's there. So I will say moving forward, make sure you do um, just quality content on your site and that everything is kind of optimized that way because that's now what Google is preferring. And any company that tries to tell you, oh, we, we figured out the secret to Google, uh, just know that's a red flag automatically because if you're trying to do anything to outsmart Google, they will always come out with another algorithm six months down the road that will destroy that little secret. So the best thing you should do is play by Google's rules. Just do it better than everybody else. Do exactly what Google wants you to do and Google will rank you higher instead of trying to game Google. Play by Google's rules and Google will reward you for it. So that's what I'm kind of saying and all that. And we can get to how to do that, but I wanted to kind of explain that. There is so many different reports I've been pulling and really with each one of these, I'm gonna give you the keywords and stuff that they're ranking for that you would want to have. Um, a lot of them aren't doing any retargeting or social stuff like that, which is really good because you kind of are ahead of the game that way. Really good. Um, in the ad copy of your ad, I'm just remembering it. One of them is there's no clear call to action. So just have your uh, Facebook guy there's the, the video is okay. It's talking about your 50 year and anniversary. The best thing you could do with something like a retargeting ad though is give them even more value. So if they didn't opt in the first time, they didn't really want to for some reason. Maybe they weren't ready. They were just kind of not in that process of buying. But if you give them more, so what I would do is a video talking about like this would be just off the top of my head. If somebody's trying to get a roof done, they probably want to know costs. They probably want to know a bunch of things without having to give their information. You could create like a very short video explaining like, here's the three pitfalls that most people, if you're going to redo your roof, it shouldn't cost this much. So watch out because people will want to upcharge you for these. But in reality, it doesn't cost that much. Let me show you. And then you like go through and show them and be like, hey, if you want us to give us, then yes, there's a very soft close at the end. Be like, you know, you want us to give you a really great estimate at this click below and actually call us. We're open right now. We'll have somebody at least tell you a good idea or book a time completely free. We really like to just help people. Something like that, much softer. I know it's not as salesy. You can do salesing, we can do that, but I would stay away from that if you're working on commercial people. People in the business industry are just, they're a little bit more used to getting sold and that direct doesn't work as well. B2C works a little bit better that way. But I would go through all of these in this video. I don't want to take up too much of your time. That's what I wanted to explain, though, is backlinks. I know that's what you know, you're know you kind of focusing on, but I would switch your focus to what keywords you're ranking for. And if I had to give a priority, it's going to be, uh, honestly, I know it sounds generic, but roofing companies near me or roofing companies. If you can rank high for that, reason being is because the search volume for commercial roofing companies is low. So we can rank you for that. 
but there's a lot of people that need commercial roofing companies that are only putting in roofing contractors or roofing companies near me. So that's really what you want to rank for because there's going to be, yes, there's going to be the percentage that are just for residential. Yes. But you're also going to catch a bigger percentage of the commercial as well, because there's a disconnect. They're not necessarily putting in all of the words they need into Google. They're just looking for different companies that might do commercial, but that's where most of the commercial are actually searching without saying commercial because commercial is just so low volume. There really wouldn't be enough to do. And if you wanted to rank for something like a, a higher keyword like that, it wouldn't be hard just to put a Google ad up for a small keyword like that. And then you could get that. But yeah, um, I'll give you some keyword reports. Other than that, hopefully the music didn't distract you too much. <laughs> uh.